Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for the love on the makeup video. I know it was like such a, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> so I'm just really happy that you guys enjoyed it and managed to like learn some new little, you know, techniques um, from the video. So today's video is pretty different to any video that, you know, I've done on this channel before. Um, it's not more personal. I'm basically going to be talking about my story, like my upbringing, um, and the process of you know me and my parents getting reconnected with my parents um, after you know being separated for over like 15 years or so. So um, it's a pretty you know interesting story, um, and I yes, I'm just going to get straight into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. Um, but just to give you like a little bit of a background, or well, something about background, basically, about a year ago, no, literally a year ago, I was graduating from uni, and um, my parents were, you know, coming to London. I was sharing it on my Instagram stories, just telling like my followers, that, like I'm really excited for my graduation, only because my parents are coming to London. I'm reconnecting with them, you know, after not being with them for over, you know, like 15 years plus. Um, so it was like a pretty big, you know, moment for me, and. A lot of people like on my story just like oh my gosh like what do you mean like this is your first time seeing them in xyz years like you know what's the story like all of us know blah, blah blah and you know just people saying that you know they've had you know same experience um where they've been separated from their parent and blah blah, blah. just little stuff like that and at that point i definitely like wasn't you know ready to um speak about it like in the way that i'm about to today um just because you know, I hadn't met them, hadn't we hadn't reconnected as of yet, and you know, I never, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, so it's kind of like I would rather like you know go through the process and you know speak about it when I've come out on the on the other side and when I'm good and you know. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like why I've just like waited things out. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of the background info on that. So I was born in Nigeria. Um, and prior to me being born like my parents my mum my dad was like pretty you know he, he had a good amount of money like um you know they lived a pretty decent life and you know my parents have been together since they were 16 years old or something like that so a very long time um by the time so i have three brothers three older brothers and they're all about 10 years um older than me um so by the time i was born my mum they were all like 10 years plus older than me so by the time i was born we went through like a really bad period where like my dad had lost, we'd like just lost everything um and it meant that you know my dad was one of those he's just you know a typical niger man who wanted to like rebuild and reset everything for his family so he decided to kind of go he was he was a businessman so he always traveled a lot anyway from what i've been told um so he decided to kind of go off and travel um to you know make ends meet for us again to get us back into the position that we were in before i was born so um my mom moves by the way sorry just to clarify these are all information that i've now like found out um you know when i was younger like obviously i didn't know any of this and growing up i didn't know any of this and these are all information that you know i've been made aware of in the last two week, one year like they're all do you know what I mean? so it's fairly you know fresh not i mean fresh in the grand scheme of things anyway so yeah my so me my mum and my older brothers moved back in moved in with my grandmother and um you know she like things are obviously quite hard um obviously you know she's now a single mom basically who is taking care of these you know four kids um and you know i'm her last born only girl like it was just sorry my phone is going off so my mum we moved back in with my grandmother and obviously things weren't you know great because my mum is now essentially a single mum and she's having to look after these three these four kids i'm her last born her only girl blah blah so it was just you know a lot and she was also used to having my dad around um from you know when she was 16 do you know what i mean so anyway um she did what she could and she really just you know trying to make things work make ends meet and she had an opportunity and like life wasn't like i said before anyway so she had an opportunity to um, take one of us to away from Nigeria so I guess you know live better, get a better life and everything else and she'd ask my brothers like who do you know who do you because they were obviously a lot older than me like one was probably like 17 at the time the other one was probably like 19 the other one was probably like 15 you know I mean? like they were like a, quite a lot older than me um so she'd ask them like who do you guys think you know should go to who do you guys think should I should like should have this opportunity that I should go um and they had said me now I know this because my brothers have told me this story 
years on i'm going to explain all of this part of the story a little later so just try and follow me because it's just very it's a little bit confusing so yeah um they just said that they think that you know i should go um obviously being the girl and being the last born and they just felt like you know it, it was right and in a way basically giving up an opportunity that you know could have been theirs they they gave that opportunity to me which is you know super selfless um but like i said i'll get into that a bit later on so yeah um my mum can pretty much like pat up my things our things and you know left and at this at this point it's probably like five going on to six five six um something of that nature um yeah so we moved so next thing you know we was in london now i really don't remember like a lot of like this stage just because like you're still a child like, i don't really know much obviously i remember the process of like being in london you know but there was there's just a lot of like empty you know um memory spaces that i just won't be able to like recollect properly anyway so we um yeah, so we got to London and we went to this woman's house who is now essentially my mum. So I have two mums. Um, I have, so we'll call, there's my birth mum and then there's my London mum who essentially, you know, pretty much raised me. Um, so yeah, my, so my birth mum brought me to this house and, you know, we were with this lady who I'd obviously never seen before, but I was a child and I was, I was a very happy child. So everything was very like blase for me. Like I was like, oh, whatever and maybe in a couple days later my mum had left and I, I remember like distinctively like saying bye but it wasn't like a bye forever or like bye see because there was no I don't really I didn't really know the plan do you know what I mean like I was like five six I didn't really know much um so it was like bye you know very like blase um and that was like the last time like we'd obviously you know seen each other until my graduation period um so yeah, my, so obviously that time, like growing up in the house, like you can imagine like you're in an environment where you're no longer like with your, with, you know, your siblings, your, your mum, your dad, like there's no, there's literally, it's just you. Um, and obviously there's this woman who is, you know, taking care of me. Obviously the environment that I grew up in, um, as much as I'm so grateful for the opportunity that, you know, she has given me, like I'm, do you know I mean? I'm British because of her. I'm, I live the life that I live, you know, because she was able to take me and she did a lot of things that a lot of people, a lot of women would never be able to do. Like I was a random child to her and she did so much. And for that, like I will always have such a high level of respect, such a high level of love, you know, for that. But obviously the environment wasn't the greatest. Like it was, there was a lot of like toxicness. There was a lot of, you know, things that you don't want to hear as a child, you know, like make it, being, being, kind of made to feel like you know you were you were abandoned like you weren't you're not loved like not by her but like you know by your like um your birth family or you know that just a lot of things that like i think at that age you kind of just don't really want to hear like it's not the greatest things to hear and obviously when i think about them and how much like i was very much like a very a, a lone wolf child like i was very much like weird enough like i was really praying for as a child like i was always like you know god like um it's just me like you know guide me like mold me like and i really felt god's presence like as a child like i really really felt it heavy in my life um which is really weird to say but i really did so yeah like i was very much like you know it's kind of me against the world um you know you've got to make things work and i had this like burn desire to really really do well like in everything whether it was school like whether it was career like i was very like i need to do well there's a great calling there's a grace of something that i can't even understand as of yet you know at this point i was probably like 10 15 like growing like just growing into you know myself and yeah um so even with like you know the toxicness that that was kind of going on around me i was still set on like you've got to make things happen no matter what so i was really strong like as a child and obviously no one around me knew you know my reality like no none of my core friends you know back then until of late like really knew you know about my story or like um the lack of like you know fam like actual family like in my life um i was i just kept everything like to myself because you, you never really know like how much information you can give out you can you know put out there or whether it, it's, it's weird and you know you see like all your friends and like during christmas i remember like little memories like christmas day where i might spend time with like one of my close friends and you'll see their family unit and you're just thinking ah! like this isn't this isn't my reality and it makes you the little moments like that just make you want to keep things even more inward because it's not normal to like what is you know sh what is what you're seeing around you like it's not i don't have the same story as like you know my friends in secondary school my friends in primary school like my 
like you just don't have the same you know similar experience to like the people that you see around you so you almost want to just keep it in because you feel weird you kind of feel like <laughs> This is this is this is just not something you talk about. So I didn't really, you know, talk about it at all. Um, so yeah, um, I think I was getting to the point of like an 18 where like I was just over like the environment that I was in, and um, I just it was just too much for me, and I really felt like it was affecting like my, my mental. Um, like you know when you get to a point where it's like you just don't even want to go home, or like you're scared, or like you feel you just feel empty, you just feel like super super lonely, detached, and I just kind of felt like there needed to be some sort of change, some sort of like transition to kind of get me to like the next phase of my life. Um, so I kind of got into like um, a bit of a like, ugh, just a weird place with like my london mum um and i was like i can't do this anymore and i was like i just need to go so i'd like moved out at that point um this is like first year of uni i think something like that um yeah so i would moved out and obviously that circumstance wasn't good because it really like affected like my relationship with my london mum and obviously like throughout like my childhood i wasn't in contact with like my i wasn't in contact with any of my this side of my family like my my um, yeah, I was in contact with my core family. Um, you know, I might speak to my mum maybe once every two years, maybe a year, maybe maybe a couple. Like it was just very, it was all over the place. Like everything was just very, very, very messy. Um, and yeah, there was just it, there was just a, like a lot of detachment, a lot of things that you know, a lot of like empty, um, like just a lot of things that I didn't know. Like I didn't know why exactly. Like I was in London, like away from my family. I didn't even really know like um like what's the story about my dad what's the story about my mum what's the story about my brothers like I just there was a lot of like empty um parts of like my story so I yes yeah, so when I moved out um uh, don't really know how I did that but when I had like kind of got into like my own space I really had like my own time to really figure out like okay so am I because obviously I've spent like a long time disattaching myself from my story and trying to not really think about it too heavy um that now that I was like in my own space it's like you kind of have no choice but to face your reality and really like own your truth and own your life um so I had the opportunity to go to Nigeria um at like yeah at that point when I moved out and um that was obviously my first time going to Nigeria since leaving you know when I was a lot younger and my i met up with my brothers and that was such an intense experience because that's when i really that was probably like one of the first steps into really like understanding things and um understanding like why i am where i am how, just understanding like just getting like a better um story you know kind of filling up those like empty like you know parts that you kind of don't know about so I met up with my brothers and we you know went to the restaurant and we were just talking and were telling me they were the ones who obviously told me about um where my mum had asked who should go and you know hearing it from there like when they told me that that was my first time hearing it like the oh my gosh the amount of emotions that went through me like you feel like a level of guilt because it's like you're in this you know my life isn't perfect you know but I'm in this position where like I live in London like I'm not you know I'm not homeless I'm not I, I'm okay um, and you almost compare it to you know the life that you know they're living they're not living in the greatest condition and you just feel a level of guilt because you think that like I really felt that like they gave up what could have been theirs for me and you almost kind of feel like you owe them like in that moment like I was like oh my god like I owe you guys so much because you know at that age to make such a decision it was it's a lot you know so you know they were telling me little stories like i was working with this um i still do like work with this like nigerian brand and um it's a pretty really, it's a pretty big like you know nigerian brand and i was like doing like little shoots and like shoots and stuff for them so my pictures was like plastered quite heavily like in nigeria and they will tell me that you know like they will see my pictures and they'll be like oh my gosh that's our little sister da, da, da. and you know people will be like no how can that be your little sister you know little stuff like that so there was just like a lot of stories that you know i was told that really like impacted like the way i i saw i saw everything like i saw just my life and like my the greater purpose that the greater purpose that you know i kind of feel like i i need to like uphold a little bit so yeah like you know hearing about what i was like as a child like these are all just everything was very fresh and very intense so when i came back to london like there was i was even more like open to like hearing more but it was weird like it was kind of divided it's like i was open to hearing more and understanding more and feel like just closing like just uh, transitioning um but i was also very like sad like i was very much like i'm still so alone like um 
like I don't know it was just a very weird time I don't really I try I think I've spent so long like trying to blur it out of my mind I don't really like to like think about you know that part of like that stage of my life too tough um so yeah obviously a couple years went on it was now like my graduation period and my mum and dad my so my at this point my dad had moved to my mum lives in America um and she has lived in my birth mom lives in America and she has lived in America since the time where she had you know obviously like left me here um so my dad at some point they had reconnected and so they were back like in America together yeah so it was now time for like my graduation period and my, my parents had decided they wanted to come to London for my graduation um because you know it was a very important moment for them um rightfully so so they so i was really excited like you know it was like i'm gonna meet my parents i'm gonna get to know them they're gonna unlock like a, a different you know chapter in my life like i'm just girl, i have so many questions so many things i want to know so many questions i want to ask just i just really was really 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 excited for this like i was just so excited and luckily like my friend one of my closest friends drops took um picked what am i saying one of our friends um, drove me to the airport to go and get them. Thank God she was there because I didn't really know what to expect. So I see my parents and like the, the level of excitement that I felt like, you know, leading up to the day. Because I was, you know, like I was trying to renovate my house, trying to make everything look pretty for them. Like I was genuinely like so excited. And I get to the airport and there was so much like, I was so numb. Like, like you literally just didn't feel, I didn't feel any emotion, like I wasn't sad, I wasn't happy, I wasn't angry, I wasn't excited, there was just like nothing, like it was just like, hi, <laughs> hi, and it was not what I was, what I had anticipated, like I really thought it was going to be like, my parents, oh my god, this is so exciting, but guys, like it was nothing, like I just didn't really feel anything, and you could tell, and where I'm, I'm someone who, I'm very like, happy-go-lucky, like, you know, I'm just, I'm very, I'm, I have a lot of energy, so, you know, my friend could see that there was just a complete change in me, and she was, you know, quite worried, she's like, oh, like, you're okay, like, you're being really quiet on the drive, like, to, to drive into my house, thank God my friend was there, so she was just maintaining that conversation between my parents, um, and her, and I was just really silent, like, guys, I was so silent in that car journey, anyway, we get to my house, my friend dropped us off, and still, that there was still, like, so much, like, just like emptiness in me like I was just like I just didn't really know what to feel like I didn't know if I should be angry that like you know I've been I was like left or if I should be sad or if I should be happy that I'm finding you with them there was just like I just didn't really get it so I didn't really like understand like how I should be you know feeling so um the days went on like and that whole time period probably like I always say it was like literally the hardest point of my life um just because I just didn't understand like how I was feeling like and I didn't really have anyone to talk to about it and it was all like internal thoughts and I was just thinking and I just wasn't really myself like I was always out so they were with me for about three weeks and through was it maybe two and a half weeks and throughout that period like I wasn't at home I was like always out not doing anything but I just would always feel the need whether it's I had to go to the gym or I had to do this or I had to do that or da 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 just because I didn't want to face anything um and I was just like constantly running I didn't want to know anything um and obviously they they could feel that difference in me like they could feel that you know I was like super absent and like just I was just very like hi morning hi that like it was just very emotionless um which is so just very much unlike me um and my graduation day came still the same like I was just like oh like I need this period to be over I come like I'm done with feeling like just not understanding like the emotions that I'm feeling yeah like even on the day like of my graduation I just wasn't there was just nothing really exciting for me like I just didn't really feel anything um I didn't really feel anything so uh we finished the graduation and it was getting to the point where they were going back to they were they needed to go back to America and I was kind of like I was like I was more like I was like I don't I don't want to I don't want this to be like uh what's supposed to be like a really good opportunity for me to like get to know my parents to be a time where I've wasted like not really allowing myself to do that so I went to go speak to it was kind of like a therapist a little bit um just to have a conversation to kind of understand and like share my thoughts out there because I wasn't speaking to anyone like everything was very internal for me so I spoke to this lady and she was just saying to me that you know for you like you kind of spent so much of your childhood like feeling very alone and feeling very much like me against the world you've got to get this right da -da 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 -da. um almost like building yourself up like you've literally like you know you 
built yourself up to be this woman that you are today that having your parents have around you now is almost like it feels in it feels it's just an alien feeling like you just don't feel you know like you just don't really understand the feeling you know you don't really understand the moment and um she was just saying that what you should do is welcome the just just allow them to know that that's where you're at and see you know what happens from there because what could happen is that they might be open to you know saying more you just never know so just try and you know be a little bit more open so on my drive back that day i was like you know what she's right like let me let me try let me let me ask and let me let me let me let them know my truth and where i where i am because there was no conversation like that prior and so i just said to them like oh like mum, like you know, dad like um I was like, I'm so sorry that, you know, over the last couple of weeks, I've just been very, I just haven't been here. I, I feel uncomfortable. I don't understand the emotions that I feel. They're just, the, this just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And, you know, their their response was nothing like that I had expected. They were very like, they were very, they were just like, you know, we get it. Um, we don't expect anything from you. You even letting us into your home is a massive step because, you know, they haven't, they haven't been around. And um yeah so obviously i wasn't expecting to hear that i think like you know typical nigerian parents like i would expect it to be like what do you mean like quite aggressive quite you know what do you mean like where your parents da, 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 like love it accept it you know but it was the complete opposite of that they were so like sweet and so gentle and so just 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 proper pure like proper pure so um i was quite taken back by that and I think that like quite was was quite a big moment like it was quite a, a big shift in my energy and how I just felt um and I think from that point like, it was just really sad because obviously at that point they were leaving in the space of like two days um from the point I had that conversation so it's like literally like I had I now had like two days to do what I could have done in the last two weeks so um I did use that two days well like I, I really spoke to them I you know found out things about my dad um found out things about my mum found out about their relationship you know how they met um really watched their relationship and one thing that I, you know what's, what's so interesting is that like when when thinking about you know the type of parents that I would want in this life and you know what kind of character traits etc they literally fit it because they're so loving they're so kind they're so gentle like they're just really nice people um that I was like just I don't know I was just really taken back and it was just really nice um and it was it was a it was just weird because it was like I had didn't I didn't really have long left to like embrace this in the way that I would have wanted to because I had asked the question so late you know but yeah um yeah so that was that experience and it was intense and after that like I, I think right now where I'm at is that we've just spent you know the last couple of the last months it's been a year on now like just getting and getting to know them and creating like a better relationship obviously doesn't help that you know we're in different parts of the world but you know it's technology so we obviously talk and what's happened calls and you know all those other things so it's great and you know even building like a better relationship with my siblings and you know getting to know them and getting to hear about you know their aspirations and who they are and you know it's yeah it's just a lot of like learning and a lot of forgiveness a lot of you know a lot of healing and yeah i'm just i am i think i don't really know but i feel like that's pretty much it in a sense like um my story like my my life um and when thinking about it personally like i just wouldn't want it to be any other way just because i feel like you know, when, when i think about myself as like a child like i was always someone who was very like you know very like loving and very like emotionally led like i was a very like emotionally like intelligent little girl and i don't really feel like i would have been that way if i didn't have the experiences you know that i did experience and in a sense i just mean that like i had to like show myself love like from really young like really like love myself just because you know when you have that when you're aware that you have that level of like void missing um you have no choice but to sorry my battery died yeah so um that's pretty much it and like just to like just put some um like important like information out there like i think you know i now like i, I just think that i'm at a point in life where like when i look at you know my mum for example i'm always kind of thinking like what you did was a a pretty bold move like to be able to you know give like to be able to give you know something so precious like your child um and i know how my mum feels about me and how intensely like she loves me um 
to like leave that child because you want them to have a better life it's 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 so selfless like it, it's very 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 selfless and i can only imagine like obviously the pain that she probably went through like not having you know that relationship with me and kind of um you know I, I can like i just i proper respect her and i proper respect as much as like you know it, it didn't feel great for me like growing up and you know having that like absence um i just respect it like i really really respect it because mothers just really make some decisions that make very intense decision and even like um my london mum who you know did so much even regardless of like anything that had happened like you know um growing up like i just think that the level of respect and the level of love that you know i just have for both of them it's just it's it's intense like because i say the word intense a lot um but yeah just because you know she did what mate she did what people would never consider doing like she really took in like a child that you know isn't her blood um and fed her and gave her a roof over her head and you know it's it's I, I just have like a lot of respect in that sense so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed this video um oh god i can't believe I, it just feels so weird to like you know completely like let that side of me like be known out there and i think it's important um so i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i know that so many people shared or have such similar stories um to this where you know they're not they didn't grow up with their parents and they had that level of like absence in their life and i know how traumatic it can be especially like as a child and like i i get it um so i feel like for me that was one of the main reasons to why i wanted to like put that story out there just because you know I, I think it's easy to make a perception about someone's life on social media but to understand the depth of someone's character because of you know what they've been through it's just it's a whole different conversation so yeah for me it's just um to shed light on like my life and you know my um why i am the way that i am why i think the way that i think why i look alive the way that i look alive um yeah this my story and like my childhood and this whole experience is a huge 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 part of that and you know i completely own like you know my story and like where i'm headed and you know like the future and you know what's happened in the past like i own all of it and i'm not going to sit here and act as if like you know some days aren't better than others and it's still not a process like till this very day um of like you know growing um accepting understanding forgiveness and all of that um, but yeah, I think I've done enough talking for today. I'm so tired. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one.